Hi nerds, it's Wednesday. We don't have a lot of time, so I'm just gonna get straight to my scene, okay? Miss Bennett, I have struggled in vain, but I can bear it no longer. The past three months have been torment. I came to Rosings with the single object of seeing you. I had to see you. Me? I fought against my better judgment, my family's expectation, the inferiority of your birth, my rank and circumstance, all those things, but I'm willing to put them aside and ask you to end my agony. I don't understand. I love you. Most ardently, please do me the honor of accepting my hand. Uh, I appreciate the struggle you have been through, and I am very sorry to have caused you pain. Believe me, it was unconsciously done. Is this your reply? Yes, sir. Are you laughing at me? No. Are you rejecting me? I'm sure that the feelings which you have told me have hindered your regard will help you in overcoming it. Might I ask why, with so little endeavor at civility, I am thus repulsed? I might as well inquire why, with so evident a design of insulting me, you chose to tell me that you liked me against your better judgment. If I was uncivil, that was some excuse. Believe me, I didn't mean. But I have other reasons, you know I have. What reasons? Do you think that anything might tempt me to accept the man who has ruined perhaps forever the happiness of a most beloved sister? Do you deny it, Mr. Darcy, that you separated a young couple who loved each other, exposing your friend to the censure of the world for caprice, and my sister to its derision for disappointed hopes, and involving them both in misery for the accused kind? I do not deny it. How could you? Because I believe your sister to be indifferent. Indifferent? I watched them most carefully, and realized that his attachment was much deeper than hers. That's because she's shy! Bingley, too, is modest and was persuaded that she didn't feel strongly for him. Because you suggested it. I did it for his own good. My sister barely shows her true feelings to me. <sighs> I suppose you suspect that his fortune had some bearing on the matter. No, I would not do your sister the dishonor. But it was suggested. What was? It was made perfectly clear that an advantageous marriage. Did my sister give that impression? No. There was, however... I have to admit, the matter of your family. Our want of connection. Mr. Bingley didn't vex himself about that. No, it was more than that. How, sir? It pains me to say this, but it was the lack of propriety shown by your mother, your three younger sisters, even on occasion your father. Forgive me. You and your sister, I must exclude from this. And what about Mr. Wickham? Mr. Wickham? What excuse can you give for your behavior to him? You take an eager interest in that gentleman's concerns. He told me of his misfortunes. Oh yes, his misfortunes have been very great indeed. You have ruined his chances, and yet you treat him with sarcasm. So this is your opinion of me. Thank you for explaining so fully. Perhaps these offenses might have been overlooked if your pride had not been hurt. My pride? By my honesty of admitting scruples about our relationship. Could you expect me to rejoice in the inferior of your circumstances. And those are the words of a gentleman. From the first moment I met you, your arrogance and conceit, your selfish disdain for the feelings of others made me realize that you were the last man in the world I would ever be prepared upon to marry. Forgive me, madam, for taking up so much of your time. End scene. There was a lot of really terrible accents in there that were like half accents and then half not, so I apologize. I get like really into this scene. This is my favorite scene, like of every movie ever, where in 2005's Pride and Prejudice, Keira Knightley and Matthew McFadden have this really intense Darcy and Elizabeth moment outside on this beautiful terrace, and it's gorgeous and wonderful and I love it so much. Every time this scene just like stops my girlish heart and I love it so much and um, that's all I have to say. Please don't make fun of me. It's super embarrassing that I just did that and I know it's not the best I could have done if I was like auditioning for a real role or something. My nerdy pleasure this week was it was my birthday on Sunday and I got lots of cool gifts. The question for you guys is have you seen the Lizzie Bennet Diaries? Speaking of Pride and Prejudice, um, it's really good. It's a show on YouTube. I know some of you definitely have, but I don't know all of you, so you should check it out. Lizzie Bennet Diaries. Google it. You'll find it. You can watch all the episodes. It's a modern retelling of Pride and Prejudice. It's awesome. It's created by Hank Green. That's all I have to say today. I'm running out of time, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!